Have you ever wondered why cities are where they are? I'm sure you've noticed the almost perfect straight line that the cities of the Northeast Megalopolis make. It's clear to see when looking at a map of population density from Washington to New York. They all have one thing in common, and it has to do with geography, or specifically, waterways. Major cities like Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, DC, and Richmond all sit along the Atlantic Seaboard Fall Line geologic feature that stretches through multiple states. The reason for so many cities being along this line is because it is where the end of navigation begins. Beyond this point, locks and or canals become necessary to move goods. For example, the Appomattox River is navigable to Petersburg, Virginia. And the James River is navigable to Richmond, Virginia, which is where the falls begin. After which, canals and locks were built to allow for trade further inland. Now they were no longer only connected to the sea, but to inland cities as well, which facilitated growth along the line even more. These waterways acted as the highways before road or even rail existed. This network of waterways is known as the Marine Highway. And to this day, the Marine Highway is very important for the movement of goods throughout the country because it is the cheapest and most efficient way to move freight. Cities that have or either still do benefit from the position along the fall line are Newark, New Brunswick, Trenton, Philadelphia, Wilmington, Baltimore, DC, Fredericksburg, Richmond, Petersburg, Fayetteville, Columbia, Augusta, Macon, Columbus, Montgomery, and even Tuscaloosa. This ability to move goods to market is why early on the largest cities are located along this line. Navigable waterways were responsible for developing the interior of the country. Nowadays, there are more important waterways throughout the nation other than just the East Coast. Some of the most important ones are broken up into the Gulf and Intercoastal Waterway, Southeast River Basin, which includes the Tennessee and Cumberland Rivers, as well as the Tennessee and Tom Baby Waterway, the Ohio River Basin, Upper and Lower Mississippi River Basins, Missouri River Basin, Arkansas, White, Wachita, and Red River Basin, Illinois River Basin, which connects to the Great Lakes, and the Great Lake Basin. The Army Corps of Engineers, as well as the U.S. Coast Guard, are responsible for maintaining these rivers' aids to navigation. I hope you find this sort of stuff as interesting as I do. If so, please leave a like and comment if you have any ideas for future content. Thank you.